Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and I have two lovely items that were uh, flu-induced purchases. <laughs> uh, well, technically not really. Well, sort of. Sunday night, uh, the 28th of February, I was getting, I was not feeling great, and I was just kind of surfing the web. And I originally went on to the Filofax website because I wanted to get some personal size contact sheets because I want to use these for all of my Christmas card lists. And um, so I have several uh, Filofax personals. And so I ordered that and then I saw that they were having a 30% off uh, their existing sale prices, so I broke down. <laughs> so I have two A5 uh, file of faxes. They're both originals, and um, we're just going to open them. So they ha both have very specific purposes already, and um, this one is going to be my garden uh, file effects. So this is the pair in A5. And oh, I love this. Oh, oh my goodness. So this is the uh, undated one. It uh, does not, it's not the 2021 setup inside. Um, oh. I just love this color. Um, I wanted something springy so that I could put in all of my planting and uh, the different seeds and stuff that I'm starting. And because we got the trees removed from our front yard, I'm also going to have a couple of flower beds. So, oh, so pretty. Oof. So this is the pair in A5, as I said, and this is directly from the uh, Filofax USA website. And I love the feel of the original leather. It's just so smooth. And this comes with, let me uh, get my handy dandy little narwhal scissors. Pull that out of there. So this gives you tabs, set of six tabs. Then you have, get the schmitz off of there, uh, the to-do lists. It's just like a sample set of pages so that you can kind of see what you like. So it's got the to-do list, then you've got some lined uh, paper, and then grid sheets, then some blank, and then contacts, which I'll probably use for different garden areas here in the valley. And then you get some colored papers. So you get the blue, the green, and the pink. And then this, I believe, is undated. Yes. Woohoo! So these are the undated weeklies. So you got a week on two pages. And that's it, which I actually really like just because I can put in, you know, when I am uh, watering and uh, when I start doing the mulching and all of that kind of stuff from the garden. So there's that. So you get those and then you get the Filofax um, uh, bookmark. And I like that it's clear. It's not the brown one. Then you get a blank or a clear uh, sheet that has, um, you can put stuff in the inside there. And then, oh, you get a Filofax note sheet or a notepad. So you have a notepad there, which is just blank sheets. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, this, like I said, is going to be my garden binder. So there's that one. That one up there. And I did get some accessories for the A5. I got the pastel 
uh, squared paper, you get uh, 60 assorted sheets. And so you get um, I, it's the 80 GSM paper. And well, I guess you can see it here at the front. You get like a gray, a green, a blue, a pink, a yellow, and a purple. So there's that. And then I got some of the plastic dividers because I, I don't really like the paper dividers in my Filofaxes. And let me pull those out. So you get um, and these are like a thicker plastic, but they've got like a little bit of texture on it, but I don't think you can kind of see that, but they're heavy duty. So you get pink, blue, light blue, purple, teal, and then this is like a navy. It's not a black, it's a navy. So I like those. So we'll have those to go as well. And then this one is going to be what I use for kind of my herbal, um, my herbal tracking. And I'm starting to do some different like bath teas and, and some uh, uh, little sachets and stuff that you would put in a bathtub and, and doing some of those as a craft kind of thing. And I've been doing a lot of research on um, herbs, and so, and I'll be growing some of my own herbs. So we will uh, take this off. And this is interesting because it has the the green one had um, like a shiny cover, and this one has kind of a textured, um, heavier plastic cover. Now this is not the purple, this is the lavender version. And I know it, it seems a little bit lighter than what the photos actually showed. And this is one that was just released in 2021, I believe. It may have been released mid-year 2020, I'm not sure exactly when. But um, this is the lavender. And this one again has the six um, tabs and the to-dos and all the same uh, sample paper pages in it. However, this one is actually the 2021 version. So you get a week on two pages for 2021 and then you've got your personal information and in several languages and uh, some notable dates for 2021, and then holiday symbols, and then it starts December 20th or 28th, 2020, and goes, uh, and it's a dated two week or a week on two pages for 2021. And I was fine um, with this just because, um, you know, I didn't bother me to have um, one of these dated, so that was fine with me. And then, so you go to the end, you've got a few note pages there, and then you've got the same bookmark and the same uh, clear uh, sheet there, and the Filofax notepad at the back. So there is that. So, these are the two, and then I'm probably going to use these in this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these in there. At least I thought I would. There you go. And then... Uh, I'll probably split some of this paper into here and into here. But those are my two splurge purchases, but they were on sale. And so I they were like, I think this was 98 and this one was, 
I want to say like 94 but with the discount and everything, they ended up being about $65 a piece, which I couldn't find them on eBay for that. And I got all the current inserts. So we have the lavender and the pear, and I really have been wanting the pear just because I know it is um, being phased out, the color is. So I have um, uh, the Filofax Malden in personal in the pear, and I really loved it, but I wanted to try an original in the pear as well. And I, my other purples that I have, I have a Filofax Malden in personal in the purple, but this is a lighter color than the original purple was. And, um, and like I said, online, it seems to be a little bit lighter than uh, what it seems like here, but I love the color. I think it's beautiful. And I love these colors together. I love lime green and purple together. So anyway, those are my splurge purpose purchases. Um, I should have known better than to go to the website. I'm like, oh, what's the sale? Because I, I've, I've, I usually don't look at the emails that I get uh, just because it's too tempting. But when I actually went to the website to order these, then I saw the sale and I'm like, oh, Let's see what's on sale already that I can get an additional 30% off on. Hmm. So yeah, I do love both of these. And uh, I have really enjoyed um, finding a newfound love for the originals. Um, and the reason I have really started to like them is because I got the original folio, which doesn't have the rings. Um but I really enjoy using that with my Hobonichi cousin of Vec. And uh, so that kind of led me down the path of, hmm, maybe if I have, you know, uses for um, some A5 Filofaxes, I might pick one up. But uh, yeah, and I do. So I could have easily just gone in and done the personal for the, for the pair and for the lavender, but it was not that big of a price difference. Um, like literally less than $10 between the personal and the A5. And I'm an A5 kind of girl. I, I have a lot of A5 ring bound pages and um, now I'll just be able to use them. And you know, it, it's, trust me, my, my Hobonichi is not going anywhere. Uh, like I said, this one will be used for my gardening and this one will be used for my herbal tracking um, just so I have it compartmentalized. For those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you know that that's how I kind of do things is I compartmentalize a lot of my stuff based on um, the different planners and covers and such that I use. And I use a wide variety of sizes. You know, I love A5, I love personal, I love pocket. Um, I don't have very many B6 slims, but I do have, you know, a couple. And But usually I'm, and then I have A6s. So I'm kind of across the board. I'm not a fan of like wides, but um, then I also have standards. So pretty much other than the micros, which I do not have a micro uh, Filofax yet. I have been waiting for the micro, the Navy to go down in price. Um, I really love the way the Navy looks, but uh, I haven't had a need. And, I, and I'm imagining that probably before the end of the year, when, when winter starts coming on at the end of 2021, I may opt to get a Navy personal um, in the Malden because I use those as my wallet. And right now I have the pear in the Malden and the purple in the Malden and the ochre. So I am not a stranger to Filofax. I enjoy them immensely and they're my favorite ringed binder. Uh, I do have some other ringed um, binders that are in A5 or in pocket, but... Um, I don't like them as much as I love the Filofax. So anyway, there you have it. Um, as I said, herbal and garden. And 
it's just a great way to utilize these and get them because I wanted to add these two colors specifically to my collection and now I'll be able to use them. So there you have it. Um, my unboxing, my unexpected unboxing. Um, so there you have it. And uh, let me know down below if you guys use either a file effects or a ring planner for something specific. And do you compartmentalize or do you change everything over all the time? I could not do that. Um, different sizes work for me for different things. Uh, but I know that some people completely change their their planning style based on the size that they use. And um, it just works better for me to be able to go back and forth and use whatever I want. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And as I said, I love these two colors together. This is the lavender and this is the pear. And these are the A5 Filofax originals. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.